This is now illustrator slash animator slash huge Dead Stranding fan. When I'm not illustrating slash animating slash playing Dead Stranding, I am surfing social media. And TikTok is one of my preferred to go places because, at least at the moment of recording this video, TikTok's algorithm is the best among social networks for content consuming. <laughs> Granted, you have to endure a lot of dancing before the algorithm learns and starts tailoring the content to your tastes, but once it does, it is an amazing source of inspiration and resources. Talking about inspiration, Dead Stranding was also a great source of inspiration for me. And now that they are releasing the director's Scott PC version, the Facebook group is organizing a countdown, which I'm joining with the edits I created following quick tutorials I found on TikTok. Without further ado, here comes the 5 quick Adobe Photoshop tricks I learned on TikTok. Trick number 1. Place elements in perspective. The first thing to do is to get rid of previous content in the area where your new design will be placed. First, select the elements to erase. Then select the Edit menu and choose Content Aware Fill. A new window will pop up with the specific parameters of the tool and a preview of how it will look like. You can use the brushes at the top left to add or subtract areas of the image you would like for the program to take as reference to fill your selection. Once you are happy with the results, hit OK. If the result is not perfect, you can refine it using the patch tool from the toolbar. Once your area is ready, proceed to open the document with a new design. I created it from scratch in a new document, dividing the screen in half to be able to eye drop the colors in the design for the new design to match the content better. Then double click the layer to play around with the bevel and emboss option to give my text volume. Once the design is ready, you select it and copy it with Ctrl C. Then go to Filter, Vanishing Point, and trace the perimeter of the object. You can readjust the area by dragging the corner points. Once happy with the area, hit Ctrl B to paste your design and drag it to the area. Then hit Ctrl T for transform and scale it down to size. Once you're happy with it, hit OK and that's it! Trick number 2. Create a text graphic The first step and kind of optional is to get rid of the background by hitting the Remove Background button from the Quick Access menu under the Properties tab. If it is not perfect, you can always refine the selection manually using layer masks. Then you turn the image black and white either hitting Ctrl Shift U or using a black and white adjustment layer for better results. Then we duplicate the layer, add a blur effect, and save the document with a brand new name since this image will be our displacement map that we will use later. Then we save the file again with the original name and continue working. We create a new layer and place our text there. We add a black background in a new layer below and bring our black and white figure image at the top of the text layer. Then place our mouse cursor between both layers and click, so the figure layer only shows on the text area. We can proceed to format the text or liking and, once happy, we select the text layer and go to Filter, Distort, Displace, hit Convert to Smart Object in the pop-up window and select the number of pixels to be displaced, then hit OK. From the Emerging window, we locate the displacement math file we created earlier, select it and click OK. That will crop the text around the shapes of our figure and… you're done! Trick number 3. Grantif Auto Style Graphic First step, open your file and duplicate the layer. With the top layer selected, hit Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask, and play with the parameters until you get crisp lines and smooth surfaces. Then open the filter gallery and choose poster edges. Play with the parameters until you like the result. Then hit OK. Then we choose filter, stylize, oil paint. And once again we play with the parameters until we like the result. Hit OK and back to the filter gallery. But this time we choose cut out from the artistic drop down menu. Again, playing with the parameters until we like the result. Then hit OK. Then we go to the Blending Mode menu and select Overlay. 
In my particular case, the result was too dark, so I add a curves adjustment layer to brighten it up. And we are done. Trick number four, manga style graphic. First step, open your file and duplicate layer. With the top layer selected, hit filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, and play with the parameters until you get crisp lines and smooth surfaces. Then duplicate the layer several times and select the top one. The original TikTok tutorial has us to go to Image, Adjustments, Threshold, and play with a slider to get a black and white crisp image. As we can see, we lost information in certain areas, either to white or to black. I personally prefer using the sketch menu from the filter gallery. First, you make sure you have black and white set for your foreground and background color respectively, and then go to filter, filter gallery, sketch menu and choose torn edges. You will get an almost identical result to the one the threshold option offers, but with more control. However, we still need to solve for the information loss. Play with the sliders until you get the result you like and hit OK. Then hide layer. Select the next in line and repeat the process, just adjusting for having detail in a different area. Hit OK, hide the layer, choose the next and same process. Keep doing this until you've got all areas of the image covered in different layers. Once you have them, reveal all layers, choose the top layer, add a layer mask and paint with black ink the areas where there are no information so it makes it transparent and we can see the details from the layer below. Once finished, select the layer below, add a layer mask and do the same. Keep doing this until you've got a composed image with all the details in the layers. If there are areas where you can't retrieve outlines with the filters, you can paint them over by tracing them. You can also refine the edges you deem necessary with a brush tool. And you're done. Trick number five, turn anything into gold. First step, open your file and duplicate the layer. Then get rid of the background by hitting the remove background button from the quick access menu under the properties tab. Optional, create a layer with a black background below. Select the layer with the element we are going to turn into gold and duplicate it. Add a black and white adjustment layer and move the sliders around until you are happy with the results. Merge down both layers, duplicate the resulting layer and add an invert adjustment layer. Select both recently created layers and merge down. Then select difference from the blending mode drop down menu. Select the layer below the inverted one in difference mode and duplicate it. Then select both layers and merge them down. Duplicate the resulting layer. Add another invert adjustment layer and merge them down. Then again, select difference from the blending mode drop down menu. Select the latest two inverted layers and merge down. To get rid of pixelation, go to filter, blur, surface blur. Play with the sliders until you like the result and hit OK. Then create a gradient map adjustment layer. Click on the gradient area, then click on the boxes at the streams to change the colors and add more boxes in between to add more hues to the gradient. Move them across the gradient until you are happy with the result, hit OK and merge down the adjustment layer. Duplicate the resulting layer, then go to the filter gallery and choose plastic wrap under the artistic menu. Play around with the sliders until you like the result and hit OK. Then choose color dodge from the drop down menu. Play with the opacity until it looks the way you like the best. Merge down both layers and you're done. So well, this is it. Hope you find this useful and did you know that Mr. Kojima won the Minister of Education Award for Fine Arts? For that stranding precisely, so if you haven't played the game already, it is a good time to grab yourself a director's cut copy. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.